There are many New Year's traditions that would be familiar to most people. Making New Year's resolutions, staying up until midnight, and the New Year's countdown a great many of us do. As with anything, there is a long history behind all of this. The first recorded New Year celebrations occurred around 2000 BCE in ancient Babylon. They celebrated around the time of the vernal equinox in late March, with an 11-day religious festival called Akitu. Akitu also celebrated the sky god, Marduk's victory over the sea goddess Tiamat. Many other cultures also began celebrating the new year. The ancient Egyptians celebrated around every annual flooding of the Nile, while Chinese New Year began being celebrated around 3,000 years ago. The Romans had celebrated the new year around the time of the vernal equinox in March, when Rome was still a kingdom and not yet an empire or a republic. The second king of Rome added the months of Januarius and Februarius to the Roman calendar. Eventually, their calendar no longer worked, as it only had 304 days and 10 months, and was no longer in sync with the sun. Hundreds of years later, Julius Caesar helped to create the Julian calendar, and made January the 1st the first day of the year. From then on, the Romans celebrated the new year on January 1st. The Romans celebrated by giving offerings to the god Janus, for whom the month January was named, but they would always work for at least a part of their day. In medieval Europe, though, the celebration of the new year began to be seen as unchristian-like, and it was cast aside in favor of more Christian holidays such as Christmas, which also had pagan roots. For a while, there were no celebrations on the day of January 1st. Eventually, Pope Gregory XIII created the Gregorian calendar in 1582, as the calendar was no longer in sync with the sun. The new year would again be celebrated on the 1st of January. The Gregorian calendar jumped forward 10 days, and many Catholic countries in Europe were very quick to adopt the calendar, while other countries took much longer. On September 2, 1751, the British adopted the Gregorian calendar. What a shock it must have been for those in the British Empire when they woke up on September 14th instead of September 3rd. Until then, Britain had been celebrating the New Year in March. Russia would not adopt the Gregorian calendar until after the revolution in 1918. Today, many people celebrate the New Year on January 1st, thanks to Julius Caesar, Pope Gregory XIII, and many others. Nowadays, we celebrate the New Year with fireworks, staying up until midnight, and in America, the iconic ball drop. New Year's has certainly evolved very much from the celebrations of Akitu in March to the offerings to the Roman god Janus, to counting down the seconds until the new year.